Hey, it's Rosa again. Now that I'd learned about destiny, I couldn't stop wondering about other situations where it could help. On my last holiday, a strong heat wave struck. A reminder that climate change and extreme events are a reality. And society needs to find better ways to prepare and adapt. On my last visit to ECMWF, the expert Lisa told me about Destiny's collaborative effort to build digital replicas of our planet. Digital twins that use cutting-edge Earth system models and extraordinary computer power to create simulations of our planet that are very close to reality. She told me one of them, the Climate Change Adaptation Digital Twin, or Climate DT for short, can simulate potential future changes of the climate and weather. So I wanted to explore how it could help us respond to the growing environmental challenges. I met an urban planner, hoping to future-proof her city to keep citizens safe during heat waves. She told me that because of the way cities are built, they experience something called the urban heat island effect. Basically, they're hotter than the areas around them. And global warming, along with extreme heat events, can make this more intense. City dwellers are more at risk from heat stress, particularly at night, and especially vulnerable people, like those with health conditions, the elderly and children. But heat isn't the only challenge the city faces in a changing climate. The local water manager told me that its waterways can also put the city at risk. As warmer air can hold more water, climate change can cause heavier rainfall and even extreme floods, breaking through defences, damaging property and threatening lives. So how can the Climate DT help? I thought a new visit to Lisa at ECMWF would help me find out more. She explained that the Climate DT takes advantage of the extraordinary computer power from the Euro HPC computers and expert knowledge from partners across Europe to create global climate projections over multiple decades. And these projections not only have very high resolution at a scale of just 5 square kilometers, but they can also be run regularly to provide updates or even on-demand to explore different what-if scenarios. This means the urban planner can get a much clearer picture of the potential intensity and frequency of heat waves at city scale, helping her plan and set up solutions to protect the city and its citizens. But it doesn't end there. Lisa said the Climate DT can combine global climate models with impact models, transforming the global climate data into practical insights for sectors like renewable energies or water management. This close integration is key for people like the urban planner and water manager, giving them localized insights that are tailored to their needs and helping them adapt to the changing climate and keep cities and business thriving. The Climate DT represents the first attempt to operationalize climate simulations at a global scale and it is transforming the way climate information is produced. Learning all this made me hopeful that even with the challenges we face today, we are in a better position to prepare and adapt. But what ties all these powerful features together? What's the driving force behind the digital twins? Looks like there are some questions left to answer. So the journey continues.